I saw you here and I came all over here just for you. Because Jesus loves you. For that I knew. I never lose my faith. Okay, so what do you want to say to the people watching? Better believe it. <laughs> I didn't, but look, I Look, 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 there goes a wheelchair in the zone. It's not needed here. It's not needed here. Men, of, men and women of God don't need these things. <laughs> so I want hey, you to enjoy I your day. I agree with you. You're too young to be in one of those. Well, are you in one now? No. Okay, there you go. Bottom soft. Uh, now you can put the box in there. Yeah. <laughs> when I saw her, she had the box in her lap. And I'm like, what are you doing? She, goes, she said, I can't walk. And I said, why can't you walk? She said, my knee's messed up. I can't walk. I said, what I told you, you can walk right now. And she said, no. I said, what if I told you you could get out of that chair right now? She goes, impossible. I can't even move my leg. That's what she said when I saw her. And I said, let me go get my camera real quick because you ain't going to believe it. And people ain't going to believe it. So I'll record it. You remember you said there's no way you could get out of that chair? He said, there's no way well, I can I'm get out. Well, I'm going to have surgery in the 11. I just hope they don't find nothing. <laughs> They're not going to find anything in the name of Jesus. So anyways, Amen. guys, I just wanted to show. Um, I'm not here to say, look at Pete. I'm not here to say, look at what Pete's doing. I'm here saying, look, I'm an obedient man of God. The Spirit of God lives in me. He lives in any, every other believer. And if a believer just step out and do what God's called him to do, you too can see this. Look, that's what, that's what belongs in the wheelchair. We don't belong in the wheelchair. Okay? And look, look, see a smile? <laughs> so anyways, I want you to enjoy your day, okay? Okay, you okay. too, and thanks a lot. Okay. I appreciate it a lot. Okay. Oh, okay, but anyways, all right, next thing I'm on camera. Oh, what's your name? Dorothy. Dorothy. And my name's Pete, and this is my brother. And uh, Dorothy was just going across the parking lot. I took my dog to go pee right now. And uh, the funny thing is that you said you're going to get surgery, right? The 11th. The 11th? Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now you're Without a wheelchair, no. Okay. And when's the last time you've been able to walk like that? Uh, it's been about three months. Three months? Okay. The reason I came over here was I told you that God's gonna heal you right now. And most people would say that's pretty arrogant or that's a pretty big, tall order, right? Like you'd say, why would someone say that to me? And come over here. And that's the reason I got my camera. Uh, a lot of people would get scared and not do this because they think the water shuts me down. But you have pain right now, correct? From one to ten. More than a 10. And, and more than a 10 because it make me scream. Okay, so you scream then. Yeah. It hurts that much. It's your knee. And that's my knee. Okay, so I'm going to pray for it. And the reason I got the camera is because, you know, this is what we do. We go around and kill teasing people. A lot of people say, well, you know, people are really good. There's no such thing as healing. It's all fake and stuff like that. But the pain is real. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to lay my head on your knee. And then we're just gonna let God do what He does, okay? And there's pain now, right? Yeah. Okay, from one to ten, more than ten. All right, now it's more than ten. More than ten, so it's painful. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand on here, okay? And the Bible says, "Believers shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover." Okay, so I'm gonna put my hand right here, okay? go now.
What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and I'm really scared. You're scared? Why are you scared? Because nothing like this happened to you That's because Jesus loves you. You know that. That I know. Okay, so, grow up. Don't be scared. Hey! <laughs> come here, bro. Hey, come here. Oh, my. Sit back down. Because <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get home. Because you're scared. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Because nothing like this happened to me before. Okay, but I want you to know something. That it's kind of scary sometimes. But I want you to know that like, there's men of God like me and my brother and other people that go around and they understand the promises of God and the promises of Philippians. willing to fill all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And this is part of the needs that he's provided. He's provided health, he's provided strength, and pain is part of the curse. And in uh, Galatians uh, chapter 3, it talks about we've been redeemed from the curse. And so I know that, so I can speak to your knee and command it to be healed. So I'm going to command right now in the name of Jesus. Not that I'm telling Jesus what to do, but because he lives in me, he's given me authority. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this knee. I thank you that she won't need surgery. I thank you, Father, that her knee's gonna to be totally healed and mended and strengthened in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Now, aren't you glad I came over here? I see you in the wheelchair and I said, I'm gonna go over there and pray over here. That's why I was in the wheelchair and kind of right here. But it's painful. Let's do it without pain then. Let's see if there's pain now. What I'm saying before is there's pain, right? Uh, if you're going this way, it'll be pain again. Okay, so what if there's no pain, then what? I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try it. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> God is good? Can I have a hug? I got it. I want you to enjoy your day, okay, with no pain. Okay, and can you just say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Alright. What church do you go to? Um, I go to First Assembly, but you can go to any church because God is everywhere. And this, yeah, and just for anybody watching, you don't have to go to First Assembly to go to any church. God is good, He's in everything. We're the church. We're the church. Where? Us. We just gave you church. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I want to grab my little brother. He's gorgeous. Maybe Dad, I can even do that. It's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Why is it scary? Can you tell the camera why it's scary? I'm scary because I never had this done before with me. Never? Never. Okay. All right, brother. So, hey, man. Love you, man. What do you think about that? Man? You've seen her all week. Has she been able to walk at all? Well, you know, she has a little bit of not like she just jumps around like a never. jumping bean. <laughs> As they say, a jumping Mexican bean. Yeah. Have you seen them? So, do you think she's she... faking it right now? Well, no. Uh, no? Well, it's 
uh, have to see what happens. I hope it helps. Well, the Bible says that Jesus is the hope we take our stress from her too. You got stress too? Pray for that too. Stress I get under the pressure. Well, Father, please thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, I just speak over anxiety and depression. And I command it to loosen you. Loosen yourself from her right now. And I just thank you for peace and joy and abundance love in your heart. Because I know you feel lonely, but I want you to know you're not alone. Okay? You're not alone. God is always with you and he's always for you. Okay, tell me one thing. I come, I feel, most of the time I feel like nobody cares for me. Look, not even my own kids. Look, look, do, I look, do I look like I don't care for you? I came all the way over here for you. I didn't even... I came from way over there. Show from where I came. Came from way over there. Walk all the way over here. <laughs> Water show distance.